Welcome all of you to the week six virtual session of IT270 IT project management. Uh, as you know that uh, in this week we covered chapter five, and in chapter five uh, the main important thing uh, that was from the applied perspective. The other questions were equally important, the short questions as well. But the applied part was to create, to learn how to create WBS. Uh, in this regard, I have sent you a small PowerPoint presentation today compiling of uh, two examples uh, of uh, work breakdown structures. One of them is process based and the other one is uh, product based. So uh, I just wanted to go through quickly each of them here uh, and after that I will leave it to you. If you have any questions you can ask the questions and I will answer those. Uh, so uh, in this uh, presentation there were no, uh, means these are based on case studies but I did not write the specifications because the specifications are actually irrelevant once you have extracted the verbs or nouns out of uh, the case study that is given to you. So uh, first you look uh, from the uh, process based uh, WBS that is more important to us for the project management perspective because uh, when we make the plan, the plan is based on activities, not the components or the deliverables. So uh, the more important WBS for this course is uh, process-based WBS. So if you just look at uh, this case study here, uh, this case study, as you can see, the, uh, the thing that we were talking in the class, that when you have to make the process-based uh, WBS, WBS, you have to list all the verbs there. So uh, if you look at this uh, slide that is right now before you, you can see uh, the words that have been extracted are define, identify, develop, finalize, hold, consolidate, revise, gain, develop, something like that. So all the words that you see in this list, these are this is a list that has been taken out of a case study for a particular project. This is like a complete project, very long case study. This was like three or four pages, so we could not include that in the uh, lecture slides. Uh, so these are the words which were taken out. And from these words, you make your WBS. So the first thing that you do from the case study that is given to you if you get an applied question or when you are practicing, then you have to make a process based WBS, list all the verbs given in that WBS, then decide which of the words belong to which particular phase of the project. As you can see here, uh, there are four phases which have been described here. One is develop project charter, the other one is plan the project, the third one is uh, as we can see here, the third one is finalize the project plan and the fourth one is close uh, the project. So you will see which verb uh, describes such activity which should be part of the development of project plan, which verb describes an activity which should be part of the planning of the project, uh, which verb should be part of the closing of the project. So you will make a list and then put uh, those verbs inside each phase for which it belongs. Uh, the next thing, the next important thing that you will be doing, most probably in your exam, you will get only one layer of WBS. But if, as you can see here, if you look at 1.1.6, 1.1.6 has further sub processes. So it is possible uh, when you are working with the real life project or when you will work with your own project and you will have to develop a Gantt chart and you will have to make the WBS and other such kind of activities, that you will have processes inside phases and those processes may have sub processes. Uh, so you see that 1.1.6 which is given here. Inside 1.1.6 there is 1.1.6.1, right? Then there is 1.1.6.2, then there is 1.1.6.3. So uh, you can have processes and then you can have sub processes and uh, when you read the case study carefully you can clearly identify that okay this activity seems like a sub activity of another major activity and stuff like that. Uh, as you can see specifically if you look at uh, the, phase, uh, the phase two plan of the project you will see that there is 2.1 then there is 2.2 then there is 2.3 and inside these there are further sub activities and then there can be further the sub activities as well. So it can go to four, five layers inside the project. It can go like this. And if you look at the diagram associated with it, 
you will see that with 1.1.6 you will see the the last level the last level it is uh, at the bottom you see consolidate and publish charter hold review meeting revise project charter uh, and then uh, lastly there is this approach uh, which is uh, given uh, the last one that is 1.1.6 gain approvals so uh, making WBS process based WBS the first step is to list all the verbs which are activities then to identify which of the activities belong to which phase and which of the activities can be sub activities of any other activity so you make a list this is the first part second part give them number some unique number uh, each activity has to be given a unique number it should not be duplicated as we were saying all the verbs are all the nouns that you use in your uh, project WPS should be unique from each other no two activities or no two deliverables should have the same kind of name associated with them so it's not just like develop you will see develop being uh, written again and again but what is after that that should not be similar so when you look at two names two names should look different after that you know how to create a WBS you, uh, you have already seen WBS so this is the WBS uh, which represents this activity this is one example that I have put uh, for your understanding I'm not here explaining it because we have already explained it I'm just giving you an overview of uh, what I had already sent to you and the second is the product uh, based WBS I have just shown a WBS nothing uh, important about the WBS you look at two different kind of uh, things here one is rectangle and the other is oval uh, for your WBS WBS if you are asked to make a product based WBS you don't need to make it however at the advanced level we make these two kind of notations one is for showing those deliverables which are internal to the project means we create them but we don't need to give them to our client uh, these are intermediate deliverables and the other ones are uh, the oval shape as you look the all the oval shape deliverables that you see here are at the end uh, are the nodes or leaves as we call them these are the deliverables that we deliver to our clients so these are client deliverables and the remaining are uh, internal uh, deliverables uh, the important thing that you see here when you will look at the uh, when you will look at the case study that will be given to you if you are uh, you have to make a product based WBS all the all the deliverables that you see here all of these are nouns none of them is a verb that is important difference uh, that you will need to practice if you go on internet you will see a lot of other examples of WBS as well this is a very easy way to develop WBS uh, by dividing and extracting verbs and nouns from each other uh, verbs are used for process based nouns are used for product based important thing the last important thing that I wanted to tell when you make a process based WBS all the activities which are at the node means the last activity that we see all of these activities are the activities of the project and we make the project plan based on these activities so the, just for uh, introducing this one lecture slide that I prepared I hope it will help you in understanding WBS if you have any questions now uh, you can ask the questions and I will answer those uh, if you don't have any questions, I would suggest you stay here for at least half of the time uh, and uh, understand the questions that anyone else has to ask. So your chat permissions are enabled. You can type your questions and I would be answering your questions. Thank you so much.